Hi, I'm Hector, and today we're going to talk about copy and paste in Procreate. And as always, download the Procreate files to help you follow along. Uh, tutorial for copy and paste? <laughs> yeah, why? Because uh, maybe there's so many different ways to copy and paste. Well, which one's best for your project? Well, let's find out. Let's get started with copy and paste and program. Did you know the selection tool has a copy and paste button? Yeah, it's real straightforward. You go to the top to the selection icon, then the menu down below, just tap copy and paste. The only drawback is that it copies the entire layer. Sometimes it's useful to make a copy, but in our case, I uh, just delete it for now. This is how you might want to use it. You go up to the top to the selection tool icon, back below to the menu. I like using freehand, but you can use any of the other selection tools that you like. Draw around your selection, then tap copy and paste. There you go. Open your layers. Uh, there it is. Now, go to the transformation icon. Choose uniform. And there you go. Oh, by the way, when you copy and paste, the copy selection is always pasted on the layers above. This is useful when you want to try something new. Uh, kind of like this. This looks really cool. I think we should remove the jellyfish. And to keep things simple, let's go to the top of the layers palette and turn off the top layer. Choose the jellyfish layer below. Now let's go to selection, then freehand. And keep in mind, drawing is selecting. Now anywhere in the screen, swipe down with three fingers. Since we want to remove and not delete the jellyfish, we need to cut and manually paste it somewhere else. Here, let me show you how. Choose cut. Notice that the jellyfish disappeared. Uh, tap on gallery, open the new project, three fingers wipe down, choose paste. Tap layers palette. And there it is. Now let's go back to the drawing. The jellyfish has been removed. Now why do we do this? Because sometimes removing something and relocating is better than a delete. Now let's copy. Go up to the selection icon and we're going to choose freehand. Now we're going to make our selection. Three finger swipe down. Choose copy. Tap gallery to close. Tap on any drawing to open. Three finger swipe down. Choose paste. And we have a copy. Now why do we do this? Because, you know, it's a good way to do a backup. And maybe we can use it on a different project. Oh gosh, this is the easiest one of the bunch. It's a copy all because it's a combined function. It merges all the visible layers. It starts with a three finger swipe down and tap on copy all. Swipe down again, tap on paste. How easy is that? But there's a catch. It merges all the visible layers, including the background. And we really don't want that. And there's an easy fix. You know, all we have to do is just delete the copied layer and turn off the background. Then we do it again. We do it through a finger swipe down, copy all, three finger swipe down again, paste, and we're done. Let's go to the top and let's turn everything off but the copy all layer. Okay. 
There we go. Now let's go to the transformation icon. And we're just going to wiggle it around just to show that everything's been copied together. So why do we do this? Among so many things, creating stickers is one popular reason. Next one is duplicate. There are several ways to duplicate and this is one of them. You go to the selection tool icon and it looks like freehand is highlighted. Now I'm just gonna just cover the pattern a little bit, cover the stripes a little bit, and I'm gonna have some fun with this. Notice on the free hand, you can just basically move the pen any way you want. All right, there's the big fish. Now we can do the small fish. Perfect, there it goes. Looks like almost done. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a three finger swipe down and choose duplicate. There we go. Now let's have some fun. Let's go to the layers palette. Let's tap on the N and choose a blend mode. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Next is cut and paste. It's another combined function. It combines both cut and paste with just one tap. Now to get this thing going, let's go to selection tool and choose freehand. Now we're gonna draw a selection. Gotta be real careful how we do this. Looks like we're tapping polygon style. And then we're gonna go down and freehand it. There we go, stop there and polygon once again. And then freehand. All right, selection made, three finger swipe down, tap, cut and paste. Now let's do something with it. Maybe a little hue and saturation. There we go. Tap that once. And let's play with the brightness. That looks good. Right about there. Okay, now let's go up to the layers palette. And there it is. Why do we do this? Because we want to isolate part of an image. Drawing the layers to another project. I mean, everybody likes doing this because it's like the coolest way to just, you know, back stuff up. Let's start by, you start by tapping at the top and just highlighting everything. Then drag it out. And with your other hand, tap gallery. Tap on your project, tap on the layers palette, drop it anywhere. There you go. Tap on gallery back to the project, back to the palette, and then we're gonna select everything. But this time, a layer is gonna have the opacity and blend modes changed. Now let's go ahead and just drag those out, tap on gallery, and the project, back to the palette, and drop anywhere. And, oh, it looks like it didn't work. All right, well, let's check out the settings. Let's go to the palette and let's go to that layer. Tap on the end. And it looked like they went back to opacity at 100% and blend mode normal. Let's see what it was. Let's go back to gallery. Choose the project, back to the palette and choose the layer. And it looks like opacity is at 53% and blend mode color burn. Okay, well, it looks like it changed once it was uh, dragged over. So that's like one thing it can't do. But it's okay, because we can always go back and change the opacity and blend mode. And if we do this, we're going to have a copy, something that we have as a backup, and maybe use in a different project somewhere along the way. So a lot of good things doing it this way. Well, I hope you had a lot of fun, because I sure did. Please like and subscribe and enjoy the time lapse. Anyway, gotta go. Bye.